Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we're doing a neck bone etouffee. Stick around, it's gonna be delicious. Alright, my water's coming up to boil. To start off with, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in here. And this is gonna be our first little boil. We're gonna do it for maybe an hour. And then we'll bring it back out. Maybe even less. We'll check it. It's gonna be two cooks. We're gonna cook it in a gravy, sauce, whatever you wanna call it. And right now, just some salt. Season up the meat a little bit. Get it going. Splash, splash. All right, wash my hands. That's hot. Excuse me, yo. I got this is the figures. Add a little garlic seasoning to this, a little extra flavoring. All right. All right, I got my neck bones drained, cooled off. Got my reserve stock over here on the side. Got my bell peppers, onions, celery on the bottom. Got my garlic waiting in the refrigerator. We're going to start our roux. Put this on medium. Here to the side. We're going to use about all right, half a cup of oil. Half a cup of flour. Just mix that around until everything blends. Get a little bit of color on this. Maybe about a peanut butter consistency. And I'll bring you back when I've achieved that. And as you can see, it's already starting to change colors. Not drastic yet, but it won't take long at all. It's getting there, but I just wanted a, a smidge darker. All right, I'm where I want to be. In goes my veggies. Give this a stir. Worried a little bit. I'm gonna let this go and get this so I start smelling the the celery and the veggies start to release some of their aromatics. You'll know it when they get to turn loose. You start smelling it. And already. I can smell the celery coming through. We don't want to saute them or you know get them down where they're 
giving up everything. We just want them to give up a little bit. And I'm only going to use about half of this pork stock. Because uh, this is going to be all the seasoning this should need. It's a... Uh, actually... Pretty salty. So we just want to break everything loose. We're going to add some more liquid to this. And we're just going to use straight water. Hit this up with a little bit of pepper. Typically, I would use white pepper, just so you couldn't see it. A little bit of accent. What I call a little bit anyway. You determine what's a little bit for you. If you choose to, to use it. All right. <clears throat> Liquid has come up to heat. Add in back in our, uh, our neck bones at this moment. And let these fall in love. Thicken up. It's going to be beautiful and very, very tasty. And this is the best of, of the boot heel here. The boot heel version of A2 Fade. This is how we do it in Missouri. And we're going to let this simmer and fall in love. I can't lie, y'all. I forgot my, uh, my garlic. But we made a comeback. Garlic's in before it's done. Get that stir. taste be back all right I added some okra and some potatoes to this off camera I just couldn't couldn't resist uh, love my okra all I need is some cornbread here and this will be a perfect meal I won't lie to you I've already been into it. The meat is tender. Uh, I couldn't resist. It tastes way too good. Set that down there. Potatoes are tender. Mmm. Hot. we need here is just a, a dash of little filet powder just for the flavor delicious you add a little cayenne to this give you a little heat I may do that later on but right now 
I'm loving it actually it is. If you like this one, give us a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, tell a friend about me. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget that thumbs up. I love them. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.